God. Is there a God? Where are you, God? I believe in God. I believe God to be the limitless consciousness of which my own tiny little consciousness is but a part that beneath my identity as an individual, my biochemical reactions, my memories, my impulses is a witness and that this limitless witness is probably no different to what you feel. I'm not saying you're, that you and I are not different. You might be from, I don't know, Detroit or Colchester or Mumbai or Saudi Arabia or anywhere really. You might be from the next house to the one I grew up in and be really, really different from me. Geez, look at siblings. I've got a couple of them. They're very different from one another. But my belief is that consciousness itself is one. Uh, David Lynch, God love him, said that the Sanskrit form is one line and the characters come from the one line. This is the, uh, what does he call it? The unified field and all forms come from the unified field. Everything coming from oneness. I believe, I believe that as they go deeper, deeper into the microscopic world, they will discover, hold on a minute, everything is one. It's all interconnected. It's all just one thing vibrating at different speeds or some sort of weird holographic revelation that we are bursting through a membrane into this frequency that the unmanifest is all about us waiting to be born. Now, how does that relate to sort of the principle of religion or spirituality such as kindness well if we're all one we might as well be nice to each other if we're all one there's no sense competing with one another and um, even when you look at an idea such as social Darwinism uh, derived from the theories of evolution or the theory of evolution although there were two weren't there because there was two people doing it simultaneously more or less that evolution itself is a force that's heading in a direction of what we could term progress but is actually probably just movement movement towards efficiency why efficiency efficiency for what why life? Why live? What is this force that's making single cellular beings split, divide, grow, move for all those things, those graphs and uh, that we've all seen are from fish to frog, from frog to whatever. You know, we all know the drill, don't we? What's driving this forward? Why? Why uh, is consciousness interacting with the environment in order to form more efficient machines? Some people go, there doesn't need to be a why, and that's completely up to them. But godlessness, the belief that there, or you know, nihilism, let's call it, for like it's a less sort of um, divisive or troubling term, godlessness leads to not a world, it doesn't feel right, does it? A world of competition, of crushing, of artifice, of superficiality. The options that start to occur when you believe you are an individual in limitless space that began with a bang that was preceded by nothing that's flooding, sprawling into a limitless nowhere. It doesn't feel good. Now, just because something don't feel good, that's not a reason to deny it as a possibility. But given the fact that you can't prove that there is no limitless intelligent consciousness creating all material phenomena and providing us with these sort of conditions, these peculiar mathematical conditions, natural conditions, physical conditions that somehow make sense to us, there's no point in denying it just for the sake of it, just to be ob obtuse and difficult. Not when love and beauty and glory feel so good. I say this, act as if there is a God, and there is one. In the book of Job, when uh, the higher self, the Yahweh, challenges the lower self, Job, the higher self, Yahweh, the God self, tests the flesh self to see if it can contact, connect with some deeper principles. Yahweh, the highest self, shows Job, here are the behemoth and the leviathan that I have made as I have made the, the animal mammalian self, the dumb, staring sexual self, the appetite, the stomach, the thing that just wants to eat, the leviathan, the unconscious lizard self. It is possible for us to be dumb animals. It is possible for us to be unconscious, but it is also possible for us to be loving. Maybe if we are not loving, then there is no love. Maybe it is our job to create a God of love here on earth by being loving precisely because if we don't act that way, then there isn't. Wave, particle, possibly both, possibly neither, infinite possibilities. Act as if love is everything. Act as if kindness is everything. Act as if we are all one and see if that becomes our reality. Or, you know, there might be something good on the telly. Maybe the sneakers will work for you. Maybe the next phone you get will be the answer or the next relationship. Maybe. But I don't think so. Hello, I'm doing these new videos more frequently now. Please hit the notification 
button at the end of this video because then you'll get a, like a little bell when uh, I post a new video and I'd like you to get a little bell when I post a video then I can I don't know be buzzing away in your pocket sounds like I'd be like a little pocket mosquito anyway subscribe click the bell because I want more people to watch the YouTube videos you specifically